counting clothing again. On a sunny Saturday, 175 incoming LMC students are taken on a campus tour. Of these 175 students, 120 of them are wearing shorts, 60 of them are wearing athletic shoes, and 23 are wearing both shorts and athletic shoes. How many incoming students are wearing neither shorts nor athletic shoes? This is a great example for a Venn diagram. So let's call S the set of students wearing shorts. And A students wearing athletic shoes. So here is S, and we know the size of S has to equal 120. So there are 120 students in this bubble. Let's make another bubble. There's my athletic shoe bubble. And I know that 60 students are wearing athletic shoes. We're given one more piece of information. That is that 23 are wearing both shorts and athletic shoes. And that's in here. So the size of S intersect A is equal to 23. There are 23 students in this intersection. So now let's quickly, I'm going to point an arrow so I know that this whole circle is 120. And this whole ovalish, I guess they're both ovalish, is 60. Now let's say create our entire universe of students. So there's my universe of students. 175 of them total. And in this negative space, so in this negative space here, if we cut out the ovals, this is the students not wearing athletic shoes and not wearing shorts. And I'm going to color that in just so we can see a clear picture of where these students live in this universe. Okay, and clearly, just to avoid confusion, this arrow is pointing at this circle since inside this oval, there are 120 students. Inside of this oval, it's the 60 students wearing athletic shoes. And in this yellow region, what do we call this yellow region? So it is the complement of students wearing shorts or wearing athletic shoes or wearing both. That's in here. Now, how can we figure out how many total there are? If I add up 120 and 60, I'll get 180, which is too many. Since incoming, there are 175 students total. So S union A. This set, we can add the size of set S and the size of set A. And that will get us 120 plus 60. Hmm, this is more than 175, which is the total. Well, what's the problem? Let's go back to our Venn diagram. And here in red, I'm going to fill in how many students are in this Pac-Man, the squished Pac-Man shaped wedge here. I know the whole oval has 120, and this mouth of Pac-Man has 23 taken out. 120 minus 23 is 97. So there are 97 students in this segment. Similarly, there are 37 students here. So if you notice, when we counted the 120 here, we counted 97 plus 23 to get 120. When we counted 60, we counted 37 plus 23 to get 60. So as you can see, we double counted. We double counted 23. So we have to subtract off a single 23. And finally, this will get us to 157. So here I have the total number of students wearing Shorts, athletic shoes, or both. There's 157 of them. That tells me that this is equal to my total number of students minus this value. So we have 175 minus 157, and that is 18. So in here, there are 18 students total in that yellow region. That tells me there are 18 students that are neither wearing shorts nor athletic shoes. 
All right, turn to the next page, the principle of inclusion exclusion. Consider the set A and the set B, and we don't really need this information, but we can use it anyways. Suppose their intersection is not empty, then the cardinality of the union is equal to the cardinality of A plus the cardinality of B minus the cardinality of the intersection of both sets. If we're going to use little a and little b as we're given, then we would write a union b and its cardinality is equal to little a plus little b minus the intersection of a and b. That is minus the cardinality of the intersection of the sets. This rule still holds if these sets are not empty. In fact, if, in fact, if a and b are mutually exclusive sets, so here we suppose, their intersection is empty, so here's A, here's B. Then what's the size of their intersection? The size of their intersection is zero, so we'd use the same formula. In this case, we'd have A union B, its size equals to the size of A plus the size of B minus the size of their intersection, so this is just the cardinality of A, plus the cardinality of B minus zero. So this is just the cardinality of A plus the cardinality of B. And this is in the case that we are dealing with mutually exclusive sets. In this case, we're not dealing with mutually exclusive sets as we saw in this previous example. We double counted this intersection here and had to subtract it off.